making our way back to getting some dodgeball going. Still Kent State versus Central Michigan. We made our switch of the sides. Started the second half. And they're off. Nice tag on Ryan. Or by, by Ryan, Ryan Hinman. Hinman. There we go. I'm getting there, I swear. Central Michigan making a good push with most of the ball advantage. Peters making a catch there. Attempted catch from Mitchell Aldridge on Kent State to no avail. Fred Hadwin, I believe, made the tag on Camden Fulbury, one of the captains of Kent State. Central Michigan is coming in fighting and they're pumped and they're not afraid to show it. Yeah, Kent State really better focus up before they drop a point to Central here. These points have been long and hard fought, so... Kent State also needs to work on that ball control. Kent State push up in the transition. Hitman quick to block for his team. Nice to see. Central Michigan with another tag on the Kent State player. Almost a catch into Paro's hands, but just slipped out. And I believe we have ourselves a 10 v 10 match right now. And remember that Central only started this game with 10 players on the court. So they really came out firing. Blocked by Jeremy Shaw. However, he looks a little disappointed. It looks like he might have been thinking that could have been a catch for him. And there's a tag for Kent State on number three, Tyler, Tyler Frank. Frank. Maybe that will help to get the ball rolling for Kent State. Solid blocking from Dan Shackelford, captain of Kent State. Seems like he just knows where the ball's coming from and knows where to put his in order to block it. He's experienced with his balls. Kent State was close to the 15 second shot clock violation, just getting it off in time. Get your mind out of the gutter, Layla. We're talking about dodgeball here. Jeremy Shaw from Kent State with an almost excellent cross court bag. Kent State gets two kills right there. One from Josh Sayer, and not sure who threw the other one. Both nice tags, though. Could have been Josh Sayer again. 11, 12, 13. And with both captains out from Kent State, let's see who can step up and lead the team. 
have a lot of experience in Josh Sayer, Ryan Hinman, and Chris Rogerson still left on the court. Wesley Peters with a low throw to avoid the shot clock violation. 14! James Paltani making a tag on number 14, Jason Aldani. Again, sorry if I butcher any of these names here, guys. What can you expect, though? You're lucky we're calling the game. stepped up here in this point. After that slow start, and John Demhart with just an easy pull in on Wes Peters. And another one from John Demhart. Phenomenal catching from John D over there. One ring-a-ding, two ring-a-ding, just like that. John Demhart attempts another throw. Call the trap. Central Michigan has taken a timeout here. We have about six minutes left in half. Um, what's the score here? One nothing, Kent State. Okay. I'm not sure. I'm trying to ask Felix, but it seems like they're having a little meeting between the refs here. Or did we completely miss something and did Kent State knock out their players and win that point? Because they are resetting up the balls. I'm not sure what just happened here. Okay, we're going to take a pause, and I think that was the end of the they first point for the second half. So, Kent State up 2 nothing.